Welcome back to this video series on making a Pac-Man game in Scratch 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a level complete screen that will be displayed when all of the dots or the pellets have been eaten by Pac-Man. So in our last video, we looked at how to add all of these dots to our game and we added some code to the dots which would um, detect when they were touching Pac-Man and uh, when that happened, they would hide themselves and they would reduce this dots remaining variable by one every time so that by the time all of the dots have been eaten then dots remaining would be zero and also within each of the dots we also broadcast a message saying dot eaten every single time a dot touches pac-man and that's a message that we're going to be using uh, in this video to check if all the dots have been eaten and if so show a level complete message so let's go to our backdrop. Do you remember in the last video I said the backdrop's a bit like the master controller because it's always there. So we're going to add this code to the backdrop. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to add a block um, under events. I'm going to say when I receive dot eaten. And the thing we want to do is check is dots remaining now equal to zero? Because if it is, we need to change to a level complete screen. But if it's not, then we don't have to do anything. So all I'm going to do is now add an if. So when I receive dot eaten, check if something equals zero, that's going to be dots remaining equals zero. So we'll go to operators to find an equal sign. And we're going to put our dots remaining variable in there. So go to variables, choose dots remaining, drop it in there and say if dots remaining equals zero, then what do we want to do? We want to um, broadcast that the level complete uh, has happened. And we're going to also want to probably hide the maze um, and we're going to want to possibly hide Pac-Man and change the backdrop. And there's quite a few things we're going to be doing. So let's add uh, some events for all of those things. So let's go back to events and let's broadcast a new message. And the first message I'm going to broadcast is, um, let's see, let's hide the maze. So let's do hide maze. And for that to happen, when we go to the maze, we're going to need to add on the maze a when I receive hide maze. And then it's hardly surprising, we're going to go to looks and we're going to hide. Okay, now because we're actually hiding the, ga uh, the maze in the game, it means that when the green flag is clicked to start the game, we're also going to need to show the maze again, otherwise the maze will stay always hidden. So that's the first thing that's going to happen if all the dots have been eaten. Um, we also probably want to hide Pac-Man. So let's do the same thing. We need to add um, a, let's see, broadcast an event. And this time we're going to do another new message. And this one's going to be hide Pac-Man. And I'm going to go to my Pac-Man sprite. And I'm going to add when I receive hide Pac-Man. I want to again go to looks and hide. And because again we're hiding at some point in our game, we're also going to want to show uh, on one of these when green flags is clicked, we're going to want to show Pac-Man again. So when I receive hide Pac-Man, Pac-Man disappears. When I receive show Pac-Man, he reappears. Okay, so if we were to just run that through now, we can see what would happen. And here's a little tip, because we've got lots and lots of dots, it's gonna take a little while to get through them. If you just go to your Pac-Man sprite and change the move to a higher number, like six, he'll move twice as quickly. So it'll be quicker for you to test your game. Um, it does make it possibly a little bit uh, harder and a bit jerky, but it's fine for the sake of testing. So we're just gonna test now if it eats all the dots and when all the dots have been eaten, we should see that Pac-Man disappears and the maze disappears as well. Fantastic. Okay, so that's proven that that's worked. We've hidden all of um, our maze, we've hidden Pac-Man, and we're now ready to show a level complete message on the screen. Um, it might be quite nice if we were to hide this dots remaining uh, variable as well. So we can do that. We can just go back to our backdrop Go to variables and we can say hide variable dots remaining but again we're going to therefore need to show variable dots remaining when the green flag is clicked okay so now that completely clears the screen so that's a good point to pause and do the same code on yours and then when we come back 
we're going to actually add a new sprite that can appear and maybe spin on the screen and say level complete. Okay, so let's add a level complete message to our game. For this, I'm going to create a new sprite. So I'm going to go to my little create uh, or choose a sprite icon, paint, and I'm going to get the text tool and I'm going to set my font to a nice retro font. So I'm going to choose pixel and I'm going to choose a color, maybe like a nice bright green. And I'm just going to click in here and type level complete exclamation mark. Now you might not be able to see that very easily uh, against the checkerboard background, but when you click off, you should see it against your black background or whatever color you've chosen. Um, it'd be nice if it was a bit bigger. So I'm going to click and drag and make that larger on the screen. And I'm going to make sure it's centered. Okay, and if I just set the X and Y values for that, it should appear, it should appear pretty centrally in the middle of my game screen. So um, it would be nice if we had a bit of animation on this. So we're going to um, need to add some code. So let's do that. Let's go to the code for this sprite. Oh, I've not named the sprite, it's still called sprite one. So let's call it level complete message. Okay. And we're going to say that when this game begins, this message should obviously be hidden. So we can say when green flag is clicked, we want to hide. Okay, just like everything else. When the green flag is clicked, we want that to hide. And we only want this to appear um, when we have a, a level complete message has been broadcast. So let's uh, create a new event for that. So let's go back to our backdrop and we've hidden uh, the maze, we've hidden Pac-Man, we've hidden the variable dots remaining and let's broadcast another message. This time broadcast new message, show level complete. Press OK. And now go back to our level complete message and we can say when I receive show level complete, this is what we want to happen. The first thing I want to do is make sure that it appears in the middle of my screen. So I'm going to do go to zero zero. And uh, then I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to set its size to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to set size to 1%. So it's going to be really tiny to start with. And I'm going to show you a little effect. Uh, so now I'm going to make it grow and spin into the screen. So for that, I'm going to use control and I'm going to use a repeat loop. And this loop's going to run 10 times. And inside each loop, I am going to change the size by 10. So it should increase up to 100%. And I'm also going to cause it to spin. So I go to motion and I'm going to get it to turn. And because this is going to run um, 10 times and there's 360 degrees in a circle, with every rotation or with every um, repetition of this loop, I want it to turn 36 degrees. So if I just click on this and see what happens, can you see how it sort of zooms in and spins in? You may want to add another little spin after that so we could duplicate all of that, but take the size one out and see how that looks. Yeah, that's quite good. That's a bit more effective, perhaps. So get rid of that. And um, that's all you need to do for showing the level complete message. So let's see what happens now when we run our game. So I've got Patman eating his dots still really fast because I've still got Patman set to move at six moves uh, with every uh, repeat of that forever loop. So let's see what happens now. If I eat these three dots, the mage should disappear, pat match should disappear, the dots remaining variable should disappear, and this level complete message should appear. Interesting. It has not quite worked. Ah, and that's because I haven't put a show on show level complete. I've done everything else, it's in the right place, it should be the right size, it should have spun, but we can't see it because when the game began, it was hidden. So let's go to looks, and let's put a show on there right at the start, just after we've got it in the right location, and let's test that one more time. And there we go. Eating them all and we've got a level complete screen. So something we could do just before that um, happens to make it just a little bit less abrupt, we could add a little pause before all those things happen. So we could just say very short pause of when dots remaining, uh, when a dot is eaten, if dots remaining is zero, then wait for a second and then hide all those things. And we could also use some sound 
to play a kind of celebratory sound or jingle at that point as well before everything disappears and the level complete message appears. Okay, so that's everything that you're going to need to do in order to add a level complete screen to your game. So go away now and add that. And then in the next episode, we're going to look at adding um, a bonus sprite for Pac-Man to eat, which will temporarily speed him up. Which reminds me, don't forget, once you've got this running, to set your Pac-Man back to moving to two or three steps um, within your forever loop. Otherwise, he'll keep running really fast and it'll be hard to control.